Hey, my beautiful Scorpios, welcome to First Star Visions. This is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for you all. This is going to be a timeless reading. Um, so that means whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. This is also general, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. I will all as well with you all. Mercury has gone direct, so we are out of that energy. Um, but we do have the hunter's full moon coming in and that energy could literally have you like perturbed, <laughs> you know, so I definitely feel like, you know, there is the potential of getting in arguments, having disagreements, maybe you're starting to, um, you know, get a little antsy, a little frustrated. Maybe there's some residual energies returning, um, and it's causing you to kind of reassess situations. So, you know, there is a potential for you to be in that energy right now. So just go within, take that time out, you know, go into hermit mode, meditate, to get things straight. You know, the answers you seek are found within. I wouldn't even recommend watching tower readings during that time. If you find that you are seeking um, some form of higher knowledge or higher understanding of a circumstance, um, definitely don't go looking at tarot readings because it'll only create more confusion. I feel like that's a, a, a very powerful time for you to go within, you know, to take that time to dip away, to go into that hermit mode and to start uh, doing those internal um, self audits. Um, but for all of you who may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio and I am Claire audience. So you may hear music playing in the background. Right now we have Jill Scott playing My Love. And um, so I do feel like for some of you all, uh, with my love, I feel like you could be communicating to someone that your love is deeper, your love is tighter, stronger, more powerful, um, you know, than they may have uh, given you credit for. And so maybe this is because someone may be trying to return, um, you know, from the past. And we know Scorpios, most of the Scorpios, 99% of the Scorpios that watch my channel are so done done with any past energy so you could be like you know kind of like giving them that last not that you know I told you so but it's like almost like that like you know my love is deeper my love was better why would you go for that when you had all of this you know kind of like that type of energy um but I digress let me go ahead we're just picking up the energy with the cards and the song so let's go ahead and call on the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit our shade I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, babies, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light. I also call upon Baba Obatala, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, Baba Ogula, Mama Yemenya, Baba Alegua, and Mama Oya, and Mama Oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I also call upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron to listen with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call upon Imhotep, Heru, Aset, Sekhmet, Set, Bast, and Mama Ma'at to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I also call upon the great Lord Ganesha. I call upon Lordess Lakshmi. And I call upon the great Mama Kali to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is so the Ashe. So I feel good with that shuffle. We're going to go ahead and do a nice cut. See what's coming and going out, going on. Right now we have um, Never Been. And this is by Dave East featuring uh, Matt Patterson. So look what we have. With Incubus, Succubus, and remember we just had um, My Love playing by Jill Scott. So, yeah, so someone definitely could be coming back and uh, kind of confessing or um, probably confiding. You know, I feel more of, you know, someone confiding in you about whatever it is 
uh, that they may be dealing with at this time. And that's why I was feeling a sense of you all kind of like, you know, almost in that, like, I told you so energy, but just kind of like letting them know, like, why would you leave me for that when my love was better? When I did this, when I looked out for you, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like that. Just kind of like reiterating, um, you know, what you did or just, you know, kind of like using the um, opportunity to show them the receipts of how you know powerful the connection was and you know they left you for something that was more physical more of a sexual um, attraction or even attachment um, I see here this person realizes it says your love is one in a million and no one can match it and um, and so I feel like with this energy, this person is now coming in, um, as I said, trying to confide in you about whatever it is they feel bound and stuck to. Um, and with this never been, I feel like this person has never been in love and they didn't realize they were actually in love until they had you, you know, and until they lost you really. Um, but I feel like you're over that energy. Like I said, a lot of Scorpios are not going backwards. You're moving forward, upwards and onwards. But um, I feel like you can make peace with this situation. There could be some sort of resolve um, and there could be forgiveness, you know, for any, you know, for most of you all, I feel like the forgiveness portion is pretty much that last hurdle before you start stepping into, you know, your new beginning, your new, um, you know, your new opportunities. Um, but I do feel like this person is also seeking forgiveness, you know, so maybe they'll be coming in with an apology, maybe admitting some of the things that they were denying in the past. But I do feel a sense of someone being bound, stuck, and this is incubus energy. So that's like demonic energy. This is like an energy vampire, someone that uses sex as a weapon, some that uses sex to seduce, to, you know, um, tantalize others. Uh, but that wasn't enough to keep someone from coming to the realization um, that they actually love you. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on for Scorpio's divine spirit of love and life. What do we have coming and going out, going on for Scorpio's? Thank you, spirit. And so we have, it's not what you think, further investigation needed. So for many of you, that's why I was picking up on the energy of um, you all needing to take that time out to assess things on your own without anyone else's chatter. No tarot readings, including myself in that. Don't go seeking answers external to self. Go within to find the answers because I feel like there is something that you are going to... Um, you're going to come to some sort of uh, realization or conclusion or something's going to kind of like finally hit home. Uh, it's going to make more sense when you do the assessment, when you do your own due diligence, opposed to seeking the answers from a tower reader. So many of you may need to take a chill, you know, take a pause, just relax and chill from the tower readings. Maybe give yourself like a week or even two. You know, it's healthy to take that time away from listening to other people's opinions and other people's advice on how you should handle your situation when you all have the ability to tap in and tune into your higher self. So the divine is telling you, look, further investigation is needed. It's not what you think. So it's not what you think could mean that, you know, there's some confusion or maybe there's some things that you may not be privy to. Maybe certain information may not be um, available to you at this time because maybe you're seeing things um, from a distorted perspective and maybe there's a little more, um, like I said, assessment necessary to see things clearer. Um, and we do have here kings, queens, disease, uh, gluttony, power, hungry. So you could have been dealing with someone or maybe someone else is dealing with someone who could um, be like a karmic, who could be really just with them for money, for securities, for stability. Um, maybe this person has come to some sort of realization, maybe that who they were dealing with was only using them for money, was only using them for material goods, items, um, possessions. And maybe this is what this person could be coming in to confide with you about is that they may have come, you know, found some sort of receipts. Maybe they found some sort of proof that this person was kind of like, you know, not only sleeping with them, but sleeping with multiple people because this incubus succubus energy is literally, like I said, an energy vampire. So it's not just sleeping with one person, it's sleeping with multiple people. It's almost like someone who could be like uh, a nymphomaniac, someone who needs sex. And the sex is a, a form of power for this person. So this is someone who's very much in like a 
low vibration and so they use the sex um, as leverage as a way to get what they want um, so this could be masculine or feminine energy and I feel like someone has been doing some deep dives um, even if this is um, not your energy um, needing to assess the situation or further investigate I feel like maybe someone that you are attached to is doing a lot of deep dives and they're coming to this conclusion that someone they're dealing with is like a sex maniac maybe somebody has a sexual addiction um, but this is someone who is like very greedy um, very self-absorbed me 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 I I I type of person very narcissistic person personality um so let's see what's going on thank you spirit that shout out so yeah see this with i don't fuck with you so i feel like you definitely put your guard up when you realize and felt energetically and vibrationally that someone's energy was off and you could feel energy you know scorpios are definitely very intuitive very empathic so you could pick up on energy and that's one of the things people don't really fully understand about you and that's why you all tend to be very protective of your energy you don't just let anybody in your inner circles and the ones that are in your inner circle mostly those are the ones that tend to do you dirty because those are the ones that you thought you could trust and those are the only ones that could get in close enough to do you dirty so it's usually that's how it happens the one closest to you teaches you the toughest lessons and it's because you don't really trust as much but I feel like you did set up a boundary a guard you may have moved away from some folks you may have detached disengaged altogether completely cut folks off and blocked them out of your life because you realized that they were not trustworthy we have um, a song that my daughter made called tangible prospects I feel like you realize that something it was almost like you were grasping at straws this person would paint some really beautiful pictures um, just to keep you you know bound to them but what they did was they was just talking because they had lips they made promises but they were empty promises they wouldn't fulfill any of the promises that they would make and I feel like you just got tired of sitting around waiting for things to change and you finally said you know what I'm going after what's going to appreciate me mind body and spirit opposed to me fighting for a connection that was not serving my highest good or even like reciprocating half of what I was giving to it so I feel like with this energy I want to get to know you better digging on you you are attracting new energy to you you are attracting a lot of energy in fact I feel like Scorpios you're very attractive at this time because you have absolutely begun the healing process which has helped you to learn to love yourself helped you to learn to you know value yourself respect yourself stand up for what you believe in set boundaries set your standards higher and disconnect from anyone who is not going to respect honor and appreciate you as you were so I feel like for most of you all, because you've changed your vibration, you're radiating love and light. And I feel like a lot of things are becoming more tangible. They're starting to come into reality. A lot of your dreams, your wishes, your hopes, a lot of the things you've been manifesting are starting to come into fruition, including certain people, soul tribes, uh, including certain tangible things such as opportunities, job opportunities, um, job prospects, maybe even new ideas for business. Uh, maybe you're meeting new people through your business maybe your your brand is growing you're rebuilding rebranding so there's a lot of tangible prospects that you all are receiving right now and it's creating a positive change but there is also this beautiful energy of someone who's been kind of like off in the background watching you um, this is someone who knows that you are kind of like clearing out a cycle closing out a cycle completing a karmic um, lesson and so they're kind of waiting for an opportunity to come in and to court you to come in in and to get to know you so this person could be watching off you know kind of like in the background so let's see what's going on and this person is coming in to offer you something real something tangible why because this person realizes that you're a catch someone realizes that you are absolutely like a diamond in the rough like you're a rare find they can't find another you anywhere I also feel like someone from your past is realizing that and will unfortunately have to watch you kind of move on into a more healthier relationship with someone who absolutely will respect you and honor you while they're stuck in some sort of karmic um, 
relationship and connection which was only based off lust and superficialities and this is someone that you obviously have said I'm not fucking with you no more I'm moving on so what did I say accept the apology um, that you never received and take your power back now that's exactly what you all did um, in order for you to move on and to start this process of loving yourself you had to like literally accept an apology that that past person never gave you and they never gave it to you because they were thinking with their dicks thinking with their you know with their punanis they were not thinking with their their brain with their their conscious mind they weren't being cognizant of their actions they were doing things selfishly and selfless like selfishly and and um ignorantly so they were not being very um wise with the decisions they were making they were taking like uncalculated risks i feel like a lot of them were just sleeping around with multiple people and they got caught up somebody probably got someone pregnant um with this type of energy because there's a whole lot of sex and a whole lot of bumping uglies that's happening here so someone really is like looking at situations now in hindsight like what the fuck did i do i messed something beautiful up but you on the other hand because you've learned to love yourselves because you've learned to walk away away from someone that was not honoring you and appreciating you or even singing you for the beautiful rare gem that you were you now are starting to attract what you are um what you exude which is love someone who's going to appreciate you love you be attentive be affectionate be intelligent emotionally as well as um spiritually on your level so we got a couple of cards here look at this can't make this up you got shining star so someone sees you as a star. I also feel like a lot of you are manifesting um, because you've learned that in order for you to heal, you had to you had to transmute all of that pain. You had to transmute all of that hurt, all of the disappointment from the rejection, from the abandonment, from the lies, from the betrayal, from people that you trusted and loved and people that you would have done anything for, people you've done anything for. You've had to transmute all of that and you've learned to balance yourself emotionally. You've also learned that you were the conduits of change that you could also co-create with universe and source to create the world the you know the 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 life that you envision and picture for yourself so many of you were sending up the prayers the petitions uh speaking daily affirmations uh speaking mantras doing chants uh writing in your manifestation journals you stayed true to whatever that vision was you held on to that vision until you started to see things materialize and as i said you're starting to manifest now um and those things you were manifesting two three months ago even a year ago two years ago are starting to come into fruition and someone that you've manifested uh, through writing down what characteristics, attributes, uh, what strong points you wanted your alpha male or your alpha female or your divine feminine or your divine masculine to have is now coming into fruition because someone sees you as a star. I feel like whatever you all have been working on, it's absolutely going to bring forth some sort of opulence, abundance, success, expansion, financially, emotionally. There's just a sense that wish fulfillment is happening. There's a lot of recognition and a lot of rewards coming in for you. We also have rare breed. What did I just say? So rare breed also flew out. It says rare breed, black sheep, misunderstood, Mr. Understood. So this is who you are. Scorpios are very misunderstood and Mr. Understood because we are very unique. Um, we are very much deep divers. We don't do surface level shit. We're very deep. So we like to get to the depths of things. We're very investigative. Even with ourselves, we try to... Um, understand why we feel a certain way, what we need to change. We're constantly changing, constantly going through, you know, those rebirths, constantly, constantly reinventing ourselves. So I feel like for a lot of you, a lot of you were simply just misunderstood in that form of relationship. And we see now, um, right now, dark sky is playing and it says in brackets. So I do feel like, you know, that dark sky is really referencing like a tower moment that happened. And I feel like that tower moment really showed you what you was made of because, you know, pressure bust pipes, but it also creates diamonds. And I feel like that's what's so rare about you is that what was, you know, initially meant to destroy you and bring you down absolutely proved to you who you were. And it was that you were a star, you know, that you could transmute that negative energy and you could create something magical. And I feel like a lot of you may have started tapping into your creativity, honing certain skills, certain gifts. Um, maybe there were certain, you know, um, 
certain gifts that you weren't even unpacking, certain things, you know, passions that were lying dormant within you. I feel like you started to tap into that energy, which is where the co-creation is coming in. So I feel like for a lot of you, maybe something you're doing is very spiritual or it's very esoteric or it's like on the lines of a cult and other people may be frowning to it. Like, what is she doing? She's a, she's a witch. He's a witch. He's a warlock. What are they doing? And it's just like, they don't get it because they ain't on the vibration. It ain't meant for them to get it, but your soul tribe will get it. Those who are drawn to you will get it but i feel like you are very rare and this is what's attracting this person this new person this person that absolutely sees you as a very unique mysterious element mysterious energy and they're drawn to you because this person remember it's like um they were digging on you this is someone that was kind of watching you in the winds so we have here i want to get to know you better digging on you what did i just say literally just said these words verbatim so this person that is watching you definitely sees how rare you are they see you as a an earth angel someone very unique very like very much you're you're one of a kind is what i'm hearing and that's why we have your love is one in a million because someone definitely sees you as that someone else had you in an emotional roller coaster ride i feel like that's what you are getting off you're, it's time to get off it's time to forgive and you know you know you never forget but you can forgive and forgiveness is literally the um ultimate test that i feel that you scorpios are um experiencing right now so let's go ahead. We're going to get some additional messages. We're going to pull some messages from, from the Kipper. And so we have right now, like I said, um, in brackets, and that was dark sky. So look at this. We got privileged lady and high honor. So the privileged lady, this breaks down, this 12 breaks down to three. So I always look at that as like that empress, that emperor energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. We're going to speak, switch it up. You know, that's how I do it. Just switch the roles, genders. Um, if you are a feminine and it's a masculine card, just switch the role, vice versa. But with this privileged energy, this is like divine feminine, divine masculine, someone who knows their worth, their value, a master manifester, someone powerful, someone very creative, someone who could tap into their creativity to create the potions and elixir to life. This is someone who's also, um, you know, changes the way that they do things, the way that they think. Um, this is someone who's very, very powerful, very strong, very loving, nurturing, caring, um, also very abundant, you know, and this energy is saying that you are going to be honored. So there is high honors here. So there's recognition, some sort of victory, some sort of success with something that you were doing, something that you have uh, been working on. Maybe there's a business because that empress is like that um, entrepreneur energy. So if you have a business, there's going to be a lot of success, recognition, a lot of abundance, a lot of opulence as I was picking up. And I do feel like you're going to have the support of your community. I feel many of you with this 39, um, that does reduce to three because that 12 reduces to three. This is showing like, you know, the work, the blood, the sweat, the tears, um, the effort, you know, planning, preparing, and now things are manifesting in real time. I also feel like you have, um, you know, a really great, strong support system, like your ancestor spirit team really uh, work with you to help you to achieve your goals. Um, if some of you were suffering from some sort of um, sickness or illness, I do see you all recovering. Maybe some of you have gone through some sort of operative um, procedure and, you know, maybe you have one coming up and you're really worried about it. I feel like the divine is saying that you're going to be just fine because this privileged lady is showing up again. So just trust the process. Let's go ahead and cut this deck so divine spirit of love and light and so we have here a message of concern on the bottom of the deck and what did i say about that incubus succubus energy this is someone who's going to try to call you and um seek some sort of advice um someone who's just needing someone to confide in um because they've come to They've come to the realization that someone, you know, that they were dealing with um, was definitely holding them back, uh, doing a lot of sneaky things, um, being very, um, just being very much um, a detractor from whatever this person was trying to do, whatever changes they were trying to make. It was almost like this person was causing blockages um, and they would throw sex at them whenever they would, you know, um, 
you know, threaten them like, you know, I'm leaving, I can't do this. Then they would throw sex at them. And then it's almost like that breakup to make up, breakup to make up. And it would always include sexual activity. So this person is very much bound. You know, maybe there's a message of concern because as I said, initially someone has discovered that they may have gotten someone pregnant. Um, this is going to cause some sort of change. And with this 15, I do see feminine energy on here. So maybe someone is receiving some sort of message of concern. Um, you know, from uh, a masculine who could have, like I said, um, come to some sort of realization that they were bound to someone that was not um, that was not honoring who they were or not good for them. Um, we have unexpected um, income here on the bottom of the deck, and so we have it's not what you think. Further investigated needed. Um, investigation needed so with this unexpected income if some of you feel like you know things are a little tight right now I feel like just trust the process uh, the divine is working its magic behind the scenes there's no perfect timing than divine time so just trust the process trust what's in store because the divine is saying there's going to be some sort of unexpected um you know, income coming in for you. So this could be in the form of a new job offer, um, a new promotion, a pay increase, an unexpected check coming in the mail. Some of you could win the lottery. Some of you could win a scratch off ticket. Some of you can get some sort of, um, you know, have someone uh, want to invest in a business or want to, um, you know, may want to buy some of your products. And it may be like a large um, you know, profit or a large sale. So this is just saying like, you know, this unexpected income, it's going to cause some sort of positive change in your life, like where it's going to bring forth some sort of financial freedom, free things up a little bit, you know, uh, you know, loosen things up a little because if it's been tight, I feel like it's going to be better. So the divine is saying um, it's not what you think. Further investigation needed. And so we have distance, her, distant horizons. And this is the number 36 again. So that's that nine. Um, so something's coming in the distant horizon. And I feel like you're going to receive some form of communication or some sort of an epiphany. Maybe some of you will be relocating. Maybe there will be um, a job offer with, um, you know, some sort of uh, relocation package. Uh, maybe some of you uh, have been feeling bound and stuck and now there's an opportunity to move and leave a situation um, but I do feel like you know for many of you uh, once you come to this epiphany or this conclusion you're going to be able to make some sort of move um, you're going to travel I feel like there is some sort of travel that is in store um, where someone could be at a distance from you who will want to travel to see you and explain some things to you, uh, perhaps in regards to some form of communication that you may receive from them. Next, we have expectation, and this is clarifying, I don't fuck with you. So there was someone you had high expectations with, but as we see, this is the number 28, which is the 10. So this is that person that you, um, you know, you may have been, you know, planting seeds, roots, lived with. Um, maybe you have children with this person, had children with this person. Person. something ended there was obviously uh, some marriage you know I believe you all were expecting marriage because we see this church and you were envisioning a life with this person and things just simply didn't happen in the way that you um, imagined uh, I feel like there was someone that came in between this connection and caused a blockage and um, unfortunately whoever your person was dealing with this was someone who was like a thief of joy is the first thing I heard they were a thief of joy but they were also um, a false person they were fake they were wearing a mask this is someone who was using your person I feel for uh, material goods um, financial stability security uh, and maybe they saw your person as someone that could fulfill that for them and maybe your person like I said because this person was using sex as a weapon whether masculine or feminine um, this really uh, troubled you you know this caused some sort of concern because things were changing you weren't expecting that you had expectations of things going up and things were crumbling all around you but as you could see um, you recovered quite beautifully you know with this energy here she's still under a, a beautiful roof uh, she's still dressed to the nines and so this shows that you know you were able to recover you were still able to get yourself together get back on track find you know a sense of independence and uh, self-sufficiency regardless of what was happening. But I do feel like from time to time, many of you may still look back and reflect on what took place, on what happened. And it's because, you know, you've set a boundary. But it's okay to look back in awareness, but don't stay stuck in that energy because you can block beautiful things, new things from coming into you. And so with this thief energy, this person, you feel like this person literally stole your heart. Um, they could have stole money from you, um, stole opportunities, um, took advantage of you 
you, used you. You could feel all of those things because as we see here with this expectation, you had higher expectations. Um, but I feel like, you know, you've learned a great deal from this situation because this is the 10, which means that, you know, that is an ending of a cycle. Um, so now you are beginning a whole new cycle because that 10 reduces to one, which means that there's a new beginning. And in this new beginning, you're now going to be more focused on building on a more solid foundation and ins ensuring that the people in your cycle or in your cipher, excuse me, are going to be more solid, more real, more, um, you know, more transparent, more honest, uh, people who speak your love language. So next we have main female. And so this is your love is one in a million. So someone definitely sees you as a potential wife, a potential husband. They see you as that main person in their life. They can envision a future. They can envision marriage. They can envision building an empire with you. This is someone who would want to be your rock, your support system. This is someone that would want to be your best friend. So you don't have to worry about someone being uh, emotionally attentive or affectionate or honest because this person will, you know, definitely court you, woo you, uh, and treat you the way you deserve to be treated because they see you as a shining star. They know that you're rare. They feel that the love that you give, the love, the way that you love is very much one in a million. No one else has topped it or can top it. So this person can feel, you know, they definitely feel like a spiritual union connection. This could also feel like someone who feels very familiar with you. I feel like they're going to do a lot of like um, courting you and gifting you with flowers um, just to show their appreciation, um, courting you and just sending you gifts. You know, masculines, female might just send you something that they know you like tickets to a football game or tickets to a baseball game or whatever, to a basketball game, whatever it is you like, just to show you that they're interested, to show you that they're appreciate you and that they care um, because the courting process isn't just all on the masculines. Feminines could also court the male as well and show interest. And we're not saying that you got to get down on a knee females, but I'm just saying like, you know, that process, it goes both ways. It's a really reciprocal thing. So if a masculine gifts you with some nice flowers, it's okay for you to turn around and do, um, you know, return a nice gesture and gift him with something as well to show that you are not only appreciative, but you also, um, are smitten as well or you are interested as well um, so that's beautiful so with this thief yes yeah, someone definitely um, got caught up I feel like whoever you know did you dirty I feel like karma has caught on to them um, because there's 24 there's things in balance I feel like there's a lot of imbalance in someone's life whether financially even with the people around them really toxic energy devil energy um, just people who speak out of both sides of their um, neck you know what I'm saying just that energy of um, you know just people you can't really trust just slicksters liars deceivers and so someone got caught up you know and I feel like you know this is a little bit of karma Dharma coming back so why is shining star here why is shining star here that could also speak to people trying to scheme so look at this we got this despair someone's in despair why because they've missed out on an opportunity with someone who was mature beautiful loving nurturing caring empathic compassionate someone's realizing what they've missed out on they've missed this opportunity with you someone realizes that you are a star that you are this not only are you a mature woman but you're humble you're down to earth you're also very patient you know what I'm saying? This is a grown ass woman. The six, this is someone very much in balance, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, very grounded, very patient, caring, and you were rare. So this person could not appreciate you for who you were. And it was, they, they caused conflict when there didn't need to be. They caused a lot of trip, um, tribulation and trials in the connection. And it's because this person really couldn't see beyond their own illusion. You know, they created these illusions. They told these stories, these tall tales, and they got entrapped in those same tales that they was painting for you. But you are absolutely, undubitably a star. And this person is feeling regret. They weren't loyal. They weren't faithful. They weren't honest. They weren't transparent. And now they're struggling. What did I say about somebody like really struggling financially? This person looks like someone who's like kind of like on. They don't even have a pot to piss in a window to throw it out of. 
and it's because they've missed out on this opportunity with someone who absolutely would have given them anything gave them anything did anything for them and they've missed an opportunity and now they're going to have to watch someone else come in and swoop you off your feet because you vibrate too damn high for this person you know you are a mature woman this person was very immature they were very flighty they were very you know very much like in competition also you know just someone who was very jealous and envious competitive instead of protecting you they felt like you know they wanted to be in competition with you and that's not an energy that a divine feminine or a divine masculine should ever be um intertwined with or entangled with so i feel like with this you being and exuding this rare energy this rare breed this beautiful powerful positive and and um you know, confident energy, you're attracting someone who's absolutely envisioning like family, marriage, children, a future, you know, investing long term. This person can envision living in a house with you. And this is like someone that is like strategizing right now, literally sitting down and strategizing how they're going to come in, what they're going to say, how they're going to court you, because the whole ultimate goal is this. The 21, the family room. This is someone who really, truly sees a future with you. And the bottom of the deck, unexpected income. So you all definitely, I'm hearing yes, it's a yes. So if some of you are um, expecting to hear from a job offer, it's definitely coming. Unexpected income is assuring that you're going to receive some sort of job offer, promotion. If a lot of you are, um, you know, struggling financially, just trust the process. Continue being proactive. Don't just sit around waiting, complaining, talking about what you don't have. Speak as if you already have it. That's how you manifest faster. You have to change the way you communicate because words are um, spells and spells bind. And they're also energy. So if you're always speaking in a spirit of lack, then you're going to attract more of that. Okay? So let's go ahead. We're going to pull some messages from the Halloween Oracle deck. And we have on the bottom of the deck the under, underworld where all things pause and begin again. So this is powerful. So a lot of things pause because you were in that process of healing. You were in hermit mode. So many of you were doing a lot of introspective work, discovering a lot about yourselves, becoming enlightened. And that's why I was telling you all that, you know, some of you may need to take a break from, you know, social media, from being online, from just tapping into virtual reality. Because if you really think about it, check this out. Do this math right here with me. We rest for eight hours a day right not only do we rest eight hours a day we now work eight hours a day there's 24 hours in a day so now that's 16 hours that's gone if you pat um, factor in that last eight hours what are you doing with that last eight hours that you have to yourself if you're spending four or five hours online surfing the web when did you really have time to connect with your highest self, to work on self-improvement, to get better at whatever it is that you have a vision for, a dream, whatever business it is like? When do you have time? Even for children, for your children, when are you taking that time to connect with your children, build with them and help them to to develop and become better, stronger, wiser, uh, you know, spiritual souls that could navigate this crazy world? It's like we have to take, um, you know, that necessary time to connect with ourselves which is why it's important to disconnect from virtual reality because a lot of wasted time you know there's going to be times when you're going to look back and be like damn i wish i would have did more with all that time that i wasted just on instagram searching through people's pictures or on youtube watching other people talk and run their mouth when i could have been doing my own internal work so take the time the necessary time to do your internal self audits because that is strongly coming out and I feel like there's going to be some challenges. There's going to be some a need to really meditate to get some things straight. And it's going to require you to tap into your higher self to find the answers. Because no one external to you has the answers. You have the answers. Uh, Shay, we are nothing more than just like a compass or a guide or just merely confirmation. But we should not be replaced with like religion. Like tarot is just, it's a guide. It's a means of guiding. That's why I don't do readings every single day. Because it's like at some point it becomes, the messages become redundant and repetitive. And it's like how many times can you say the same thing? You know, so it's like I'll do the readings when I feel spirit moves me to do it. You know, and um so I just really want y'all to get that message because it's very important to take time out to yourselves, Ashe. So I digress. 
I don't want to be too preachy, but I'm going to drop a jewel on you when I have to drop a jewel on you. You know? So let's go ahead. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. Father Love Scorpios, Divine Spirit. And I just saw that Les Muenes. Les Lady de los Muertos. And that's that death energy. That's that rebirth. That's that, you know... That's that transformative energy, acceptance and equality, it says. So accept what was ended, you know, accept what has ended, rather, and, um, you know, push forward, you know. Equality is about treating people the way that you want to be treated, even those who have done you wrong, you know. So we have the lamp on the bottom of the deck, remembrance. So many of you could be like really in a nostalgic place. I know during our solar returns or during the holidays, it gets really kind of like melancholy for a lot of people. People tend to get really emotional because they start thinking about, you know, their past, uh, thinking about, you know, fonder times, thinking about when certain loved ones were still alive. And so it could get really, really um really sad, really emotional during this time. But I feel like, you know, just just think about the beauty of how far you've come and just know that your ancestors spirit guides they're always with you regardless of you not being able to physically touch them know that you can still communicate with them they still communicate with you in various ways hence the synchronicities hence the feathers hence the butterflies hence the animal totems it's like they will communicate with you even clairaudiently via your dreams they will visit you so just know that they are still comforting you and supporting you right now my nose is itching like crazy and that is a sign that spirits like you tapping in boo you tapping in but yes but if you look closely there's like orbs of light at that top window pane so that's like you know the energy of your ancestors with you and that jack-o-lantern represents protection so they are protecting you and giving you the light giving you the clarity the illumination the strength to persevere so it's like almost like i was saying like look back in awareness but don't stay stuck you know remember the times like michael jackson said but continue to push forward and thrive to become your best version of yourself because they're watching look at that strength so you have the strength you have that 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 ability to stand in your power, to stand direct, to stand up for what you believe in, and to stand your ground more importantly. I feel like you've learned to be stronger. You've learned to be, you know, more vocal about what you need, opposed to being more passive. I feel like you've become stronger in whatever form of cycle you were in, which is why you've set boundaries and you've blocked out a lot of people that was just simply, you know, snakes in the grass. People you've learned were, you know, plotting against you and plotting on you and not really celebrating your wins but you know kind of like praying and you know trying to throw things into to you know cause a loss for you but I feel like this strengthened you just this helped you to see things very clearly in terms of who you can trust and what you should do about you know certain people's you know certain people in your in your um in your cipher in your immediate circles so we have black cat fortune meets opportunity so some of you may have a black cat I feel like a lot of you have looked into the eyes, you know, like the eyes represent the windows of the souls. And people say that cats are impervious to threat, meaning that they have like a sixth sense. So they can feel energy. They're very intuitive beings. They also could see into the spirit realm. That's why a lot of people feel, you know, they're spook, you know, they feel cats are spooky. I, I work on a team of people who are so biased to dogs. All they like are dogs. They think cats are scary. They don't like them. They think, oh, and I was just so perturbed by that because I'm like, I love my felines and I'm a feline. I'm a Scorpio. Um, I'm, I'm a tiger in Chinese, um, um, in Chinese horoscope so you know I I took offense to that <laughs> but um I didn't let them know that I just you know kind of took it on the chin because I don't want nobody to know you know how I truly feel at my place of employment it's none of their business but I do find it to be very interesting how people have this this negative um, opinion about cats but cats are very uh, very beautiful creatures very wise uh, very intuitive and I feel like this you know because these this this cat is looking so alert it's almost as if it sees something but it's as if 
it sees what's coming, you know, and obviously there's been a lot learned, you know, it's sitting on top of these books. And I feel like, you know, the eyes are the windows to the soul. So I do feel like a lot of you have really um, tapped into your higher selves. I feel like you've also been able to kind of like go within your own higher self, you know, go within your own self. And you've learned a lot about you. You've learned about, a lot about what you don't like. Um, I feel like you've also realized that there was a lot of people uh creating smoke and mirrors around you. Uh, a lot of people, you know, with whom you did make eye contact with, and you noticed that they were, you know, they were deceptive. They were snakes, you know, they were gaslighting, they were manipulative, they were talking out of both sides of their mouth. And so I feel like, you know, many of you could really intimidate people through your stare. Um, because Scorpios have very penetrative eyes. A lot of people like to speak about how deep, you know, it's like there's a story behind these eyes. And it's true. Um, you know, but there is a sense that you've learned a great deal. And because you've learned so much, there's a fortune. There's fortune ahead for you. There's abundance. There's rewards. There's recognition. Because you've done the work. You know, you've done the work. So we have on the bottom of the deck, skull of darkness, blind spots. So whatever those blind spots were, I definitely feel like you figured it out because these books, as I said, they definitely denote um, wisdom, intelligence. Um, and we have trick or treat. It says mischief and play. So, you know, definitely go out and, and have some fun. Be more adventurous. Don't be so regimented. Don't be so, you know, just, it's, it's almost like, you know, feed that child um, that's within you. You know, we all have a very childlike energy and we do have to to feed and nurture that aspect. It's good to stay youthful and not be so, you know, so, so routine and so rigorous, you know, it's like, have fun, let your hair down, you know, go out and have fun. Maybe some of y'all need to dress up. Maybe some of y'all are going to a Halloween party. Maybe some of you are, you know, your solar returns are on Halloween. Mine is the day before Halloween. So maybe some of you all will be celebrating and enjoying um, a little mischief and play. So we have on the bottom of the deck forgiveness. It says reducing burden. So you see that I mentioned forgiveness in the beginning of the reading and that being the last step before you all step into this new junction in your lives. And it's absolutely here. So I do feel like for many of you, once you forgive that past person, like really forgive them in your soul, your heart, your spirit, then you are completely done. You've completed that cycle with flying colors. All right. So we have on the bottom of the deck, man holding a coin. So this is that person who absolutely sees your worth and value. Someone who sees that you're rare, that you're a good investment. Someone who definitely remember tangible prospects was playing earlier. And, um, and my music stopped. I never even noticed. I just been running my mouth and, um, tangible prospects stop. I mean, the music stopped. Is anything playing? You know what? Mercury retrograde got my, 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 um, iPod. It kind of glitched and it stopped working. So it's all good. I was flowing anyway without the music, but we have rare breeds. So this person, they definitely see your worth and value. And I feel like you're also very, you know, independent, self-sufficient on your own. And this is six and this is seven. So I definitely feel like this is a beautiful match. I feel like, you know, you're, 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 you're living in a lap of luxury all on your own. So you're very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. But I feel like you have someone who wants to offer you something tangible because they see your worth and value. This is someone who's like very much like an alpha male, alpha female energy. Someone who comes in, gets the job done. They go to work, you know, like Big Daddy Kane said, you know what I'm saying? They go to work, they get busy, you know, they, they, they're very resourceful. They work, they're good with their hands. They're very practical, down to earth. This is someone who's a support system, very strong, you know, masculine, alpha male energy. And on the flip side, we got the hostility. So what did I say? There's two different energies, past and present. So this person here is bringing some sort of disturbing news because remember you have this incubus succubus and then you have message of concern and then you have this hostility card so this person is bringing some sort of drama your way and it isn't your you know it isn't your burden to carry anymore it's for them you know you're no longer with them you're no longer in a relationship with them so you have no kind of ties with them and so this person is simply just trying to throw you off so i do feel like you have to just kind of like 
um, be mindful of what you give your attention to because a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. So I feel like for many of you, you really need to just kind of set your boundary and keep your boundary there uh, because this person has already disappointed you and you've already walked away. So this person's trying to lure you back with some more drama, but this is what you walked away from. Immaturity, someone being deceptive, being dishonest, someone playing games, impulsive, unreliable, non-reciprocal. You, you're done done. You gave them chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity. And you said, finally, I got to love me. I got to do me and I got, I could do a lot better by myself. And that's absolutely what you did when you chose to walk away. This person was trying to keep you stuck and stagnant in this, you know, in this situation for quite some time. And I feel like for a long time you felt obligated because maybe this was someone that you had a family with, had children with, but I do feel like now you're finally making that initial step to move forward and we have beat nuts playing off the books and um so it's very interesting that off the books so with this black cat it's on the books so i feel like you did d discover someone was being deceptive that like i said the eyes are the windows to the soul and i feel like this person could had difficulty making eye contact with you that's just what i'm picking up like someone had a very difficult time making eye contact so let's go ahead and cut this deck. And that's how you knew this person was like, like lying. Okay. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the temple path. So many of you are on a new, ooh, salut. Excuse me, y'all. Just sneeze. So many of you are on a new journey, you know, and you've been on this spiritual journey, but I feel like you're embarking on a whole new junction, a whole new uh, voyage, if you will, you know, because it's like almost as if you've been initiated, you know, things that you have been, you know, really setting your intention on working on improving. Um, I feel like there's really a sense that things are manifesting for you. I do feel there's a lot of support in the spirit realm for you. Like you have angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Uh, they are all teaming together to bring to you wish fulfillment, to bring to you, you know, even love, whatever it is you've been, um, you know, praying for and asking for. I feel like there's a miracle coming in. There's a, some sort of wish fulfillment uh, because someone is really in despair because there's something coming in for you. I feel like a lot of you, as I said, you could be a healer, shamans, light workers, because in order to become a great healer, you have to first heal yourself. And I feel like that's what a lot of you did, which is why I'm getting that sense of like initiant, you know, like you're an initiant of some, you know, some spiritual um, culture. Um, but this man holding a coin, oh man, this could also speak to marriage, someone wanting to commit you know, if you look there, this is like, this is typically where people go to get married. You know, they'll go under this beautiful awning or this beautiful like pillar and they'll just get married there and there'll be a beautiful ceremony. So someone could envision marriage, um, like I said, and I feel like you're going to have to take some time to assess it. What did I, what did I say? You know, you got the door to love, the door to um, romance opening up. And if you look closely, this cage has a key and there's a key just outside of it. So I feel like the right person is coming to open up that key, that cage to your heart. This is beautiful. And I feel like this is um, being led by your spirit team. You know, it's like they're conspiring behind the scenes to bring this person in for you. And so we have rest and rejuvenate. What did I say about you all needing to meditate to get things straight? And this is the number 19. So this is about you rejuvenating, recalibrating, recuperating from whatever you've dealt with so that you don't bring baggage, you know, into a new situation. It's about gaining clarity and also becoming more grounded, coming into spiritual alignment. And this also refreshes and rejuvenates your spirit overall. So this puts you back into harmony, into equilibrium because of whatever pain you've done, uh, you've gone through you see how he's transmuting you know whatever that energy is and it's turning into something very powerful something very magical and it's because you are the magician you create the potions and elixirs to life you have the ability and the means right now to change your circumstance and you realize that which is why you're being told to you know go into a space of meditation so that you could see your vision clear so not so as not to have other people's chatter other people's opinions um unwarranted or not um, you know, in your ear. It's like you need to really, you know, go into a space where you can just create, where you can um, co-create, where you can utilize um, and channel that power, that energy that the divine is showering upon you. If you look here, you can see like this, this power is coming straight from the divine, you know, and this is giving you illumination, clarity. You're receiving downloads, divine intervention. So divine spirit of the night, what messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? From the energy oracle deck, divine spirit, love and light. What 
what messages you have for other Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. There goes Archangel Uriel. We called her during the beautiful beginning of the reading, and here we have her. So you are highly intuitive, and what did I say? Your intuition is definitely very upsetting to others. They can they they feel seen. It's like just like I said, like cats are impervious to threat. It's like whoever these people who are plotting, planning, scheming, it's like they feel like they can't get at you because you're too you're too aware, you're too intuitive. It's because you could pick up on energy, you speak energy, you speak vibration even. And we have here um I'm in love by Evelyn Champagne King. So, you know, someone's definitely in love with you. Someone definitely has a very strong attraction to you. And I do see here, like I said, with this woman holding a coin here, you're going to be very successful in whatever it is you're doing. There's abundance here. There's success, opulence, expansion, growth. Um, there's just a sense that, you know, you're receiving some sort of, of blessing, but you have recovered very nicely after some sort of uh, ending of a cycle. And look, what did I say? I'm in love is playing by Evelyn Champagne King. So this man coming in, they was coming in with a coin. Remember, now you're matching their energy. What did I say about y'all both having your own money? This person's now coming in with a heart because they're like, look, I, I can offer her the world. I can offer her something tangible, but what I'm going to give her is my love because I find her love or his love to be one in a million. I find this Scorpio to be you know, irresistible, sensational. I'm in love with this person. Like this person has been watching you and they're very prepared. This person is the 45. So they're ready to come in and create some sort of change in this situation. And it's a positive change because this person has been sitting back watching for a minute. So let's go ahead. We're going to cut this deck. And we have uh, trust and cleanse. So many of you could have been cleaning, clearing, and smudging your home, decluttering your home, your space, taking spiritual baths. I feel during this hunter's new moon, uh, I mean this hunter's full moon, excuse me, many of you should take that time to, you know, do some release ceremonies or purge and clear up your energy. Definitely you've gone through major transformations. I see nothing but shifts, graduation, elevation, ascension. Um, and it's because you've chosen yourselves. It's like you had to walk away from something that was not honoring you and serving you in order to show that you have evolved and that you have grown. And I feel like you learned to trust the process. And, and trusting the process, you've learned the truth of who you are unapologetically and you've accepted you good bad and different and that's why you are uh very attractive very beautiful to other people and um and like i said when you radiate love you know you're going to attract that you're going to attract love to you so that's powerful so divine spirit of love and light look at this perseverance this is what you've done you've persevered through all of the trials the tribulations all of the difficulties you've you know this is about you know being resilient in the process, you know, really finding your way, you know, battling through all of those dark nights of the soul, fighting all those demons single handedly, you know, and here you are. So look at that. Look at that. What did I say? You all were speaking mantras, daily mantras, affirmations, sending up prayers and petitions. And here you have it. So this mantra card is definitely showing the process that you took to now start to receive and achieve all of these goals to get the rewards and the recognition that's coming in from spirit. The divine has noticed it. Many of you, what did I say? It is your birthright to be successful, to work in some sort of spiritual practice. Um, but I feel like a lot of you are becoming aware. You're awakening to your soul's mission, your life's purpose, your life's path. And it is that you are a sovereign of spirituality. You could be a clairvoyant, clairaudient, channeler, psychic, a uh, tarot reader, a cardomancer, you know, you could be someone who scries, um, but you have a gift, a spiritual gift. And we have here challenge. So I feel like many of you are meeting the challenges. You know that this game is chess, not checkers. Someone's trying to play checkers with a chess master. And this is also about strategy. So, you know, when there were challenges, you were like, checkmate, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like you was on some, you know, you, you, you literally met the challenge because you were persevering through everything. And you were able to see through the illusions. You were able to see through, you know, whatever the, you know, the false um, you know, the false situations or circumstances were, uh, you saw through them crystal clear. And it's because you were, you were definitely, like I said, strategizing and being more, um, being more trusting of your own intuition. Uh, you knew you had the answers within yourself and you trusted yourself. Look at this guidance. 
So what did I say about, you know, seeking guidance and, you know, sometimes needing to go within? Many of you are here because you need confirmation, which is cool. But a lot of people, not just Scorpios, go to tarot readers like that's the end all be all seeking, you know, life advice, you know, and this is, you know, that's why people put that disclaimer that this is for entertainment, you know, um, but you cannot submit your will to anyone. That's why I'm encouraging you all to take like a week or two break from tarot reading, including my own, you know what I'm saying? Because this is about, you know, self-preservation. You got to take care of you yourself first and foremost. And yes, it's cool to be able to get people to can it, people who can understand what you've been through your journey but nothing's more profound and powerful than you know coming to your own conclusion and assessment because you've taken that time to go within so with a lot of you you know maybe some of you all maybe need to get your own tarot decks and you may need to learn to channel the energy on your own and do your own readings you know this is another way to read that but this also speaks to just you all just kind of taking the time to seek advice and um and get a deeper understanding from watching the tarot readings as well. All right. And so it came right back out. It just flew right back out. So this says guidance. So, you know, the guidance, um, I, I just keep getting told to, you know, inform you all or to remind you all that, you know, the answers you seek are found within. Okay. The answers you seek are found within. And on these cards, there's the sun, moon and stars. So this is about spiritual alignment. OK, and this also means, you know, the stars are in alignment and that means wish fulfillment is here and the cl and the cup has clouds. So this is very beautiful. This is about celestial energy. So maybe during your solar return, there's going to be some sort of wish fulfillment. Um, maybe you are seeking guidance on what to do or maybe there's going to be something that comes to light or comes to surface and you're going to need to um, go within. You know, the guidance you seek, you got to be very mindful who you seek advice from. Because I feel like the divine is strongly encouraging you to go within. And so we have connection. What did I say? So connection is here. The divine wants you to connect with your higher self because the answers you are seeking, beloved, are found within you. You already know what you need to do. You already know where you need to go because your intuition is just as sharp as anyone, any one of these readers you're listening to and watching, myself included. So it's like about tapping and tuning into yourself. You are powerful beings. So, you know, definitely go within, um, maybe take a break. Like I said, from tower readings, just take a, take a week or two, you know, take some time to connect, to get within, you know, to go within, you know, to center yourselves, to go into that sense of spiritual alignment, to really even clean, clear and cleanse your energy, you know, your mental, your mind, you know, cause when you got a lot of people chattering and telling you what you need to do and what's going on, it, it, it can be like confusing. So you got to be able to dif differentiate what your thoughts are, you know, apart from someone else's, you know, but my beautiful Scorpios, that is your reading. I feel someone new is coming in and this person means business. And I feel like this person likes what they see. They've been watching you for a while and they're coming in. I feel like you are going to cut that, that soul tie for once and for all and complete that karmic cycle. Um, you've learned a lot. It's been beautiful. It's been a journey. It's been a process. You may have had some beautiful babies in that process. You may have learned valuable lessons, but I feel like that, that chapter is closed in your life. And I feel like the two of you, um, can absolutely, uh, be better, uh, friends than lovers. And I feel like the divine wants you to forgive this person because they were really, um, in a low vibration and they got caught up and they're paying for it enough. Um, they don't really need any extra, uh, you know, bad vibrations. I feel like you may be the only, uh, the only, um, life line they may have. I feel like they have a lot of fake fraudulent people, snakes, people who give them misinformation on purpose, people who kind of guide them down the wrong path, just snaky energy. Um, just kind of like that, you know, people who don't really want to see you succeed. So they'll pull you down with them. And so this person's in despair. And I feel like, you know, with this shining star, um, just remember what your purpose is and be a star in this person's life. Um, you know, maybe just give them words of advice um, and just let them off the hook. Forgiveness. Remember that it says forgiveness 
and um, it said um, reducing burdens. So I do feel like you'll reduce some sort of burden in this past person's life by simply just, a, you know, uh, accepting their apology, um, even if they don't give you one, you know, because there's no guarantee that this person will even come in and apologize. But I feel like for you, it'll be more so for you because forgiveness is always free for you. So that is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I'm going to end it there. I thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. Um, if you found that the reading resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope that you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. It's love is love is love. Until next time, send a big fat ashe. Peace.